policy, which is just the uh, offshoot, the byproduct of politics, can impede, it can denigrate, it can destroy their futures. They are, they are graduating or they are trying to build a career at a, the worst recovery. They, they're trying to start a new business. They're regulated, you know, in, entrepreneurs and innovators are not compliance junkies, do you know what I mean? The first thing we did, we have a brain gain in the number one startup in the country, New Orleans, young people, because the first thing our new mayor did was we made this city business friendly. Uh, we, we have like people that are saying just to help, after we cut through a bunch of bureaucracy, right. eradicate it, here's how you cut through. We established programs, that, here's how you run a business. They don't want to run, but they want to think of businesses, but they hook up with other people who know how to do the, you know, what you have to do regular. So you can, policies can strangle initiative, innovation, creativity. We spent the dinner talking with your president and, and his, his wife about how anachronistic uh, education is. I mean, so they should care because it's their world. It's their future. Well, I mean, the short answer: if you, don't worry, somebody else is. Mm -hmm. So if you if you want to, you know, there, there's a kind of expression I really like. There's two kind of people in this world: those that make rain and those that get rained on. <laughs> if you say conscientiously, you know, I'm just going to go. I'm going to be wet my whole life. I'm going to walk around with an umbrella. You, you can do that, but you know, it's in. in uh, the Marine Corps when uh, in Tijuana, and I asked the waitress, "Can you drink the water here?" She said, "Well, you could, but why would you want to do such a thing?" All right. Okay, so you could go around wet your life, but why would you want to do that? What what a, what a dull way to lead your life.